troops move freely through the capital city today amid widespread looting and chaos as the dictator's regime collapsed into lawless anarchy. Well, it's about fucking time. I mean, they've been talking about it long enough, am I right? Yes, my friend. It is a great day to be free. Would you like to buy a flag or bumper sticker to celebrate this fresh military victory? Nah, I'm set. Say, uh, you got any family over there? Me? I'm from Dallas. Oh. You know, I don't blame you people for what happened. I mean, uh, Muslims and foreigners. That is good of you to say, my friend. I am not a Muslim, nor am I foreign, but I appreciate the sentiment. I try not to blame white people for all my problems, either. Right. Guys like you and me, we're just out here trying to make it day to day. I just wanted you to know, uh, I would never haul off and hit you or shoot up your store. I mean, you probably have to deal with some real assholes around here. You would not believe the assholes that I have to deal with. Well, that reminds me, the latest issue of Gigantic Asses just arrived. It is extremely filthy this month, I can assure you. It is a special 15th anniversary collector's edition. Trucker suckers lost loads. The Valley Spirit never dies. She is named the Mysterious Female. And the doorway of the Mysterious Female is the base from which heaven and earth sprang. Draw upon it as you will, it never runs dry. So you want to buy it or not? Mm, not this time. I met a girl. Really special girl. Oh, you have a girlfriend. Mm, not exactly. I picked her up hitchhiking. She's got this really amazing energy about her. So you're gonna see her again? I don't know. So just the gas then? Yeah. And this beef jerky. How can you eat that stuff? What, jerky? The Indians survived on that. Yeah, look how great things went out for the Indians. Okay, my friend. I'll see you next time. Adios, amigo. Hello, my friends. What can I do for you today? We're very thirsty. We've traveled far. There are many, many cold drinks here for you to choose from. I wonder, do you have any tree frog beer? Let me think. Yes, we just got the fresh shipment. I'll just bet you did, Habib. Please, sir, the cashier can't open the safe. It doesn't have more than $25 cash. If you wish to rob me, just... Ask me for the money! Invoices! I want to see some paperwork! My paperwork? That's right. I hope you can account for every single bottle and can of beer in this store with some kind of paperwork. Whatever you want, please, just don't hurt me! You tell me what I want to know and we'll get along just fine, Akbar. <laughs> Akbar, that's a good one. Hey. You want to keep it professional over here? You're supposed to be the scary silent one, remember? Sorry. You already ruined it now. Okay, Muhammad. Show us the back! It is back there. Everything is back there. Lead the way and don't get any bright ideas. Because I'm trained in over a hundred ways to kill you with my bare hands without making a mess or making a sound. I'm selling gasoline and refreshments. I don't understand the problem. If you're telling the truth, you've got nothing to worry about. Well, well, 
well, well. It would indeed seem that you have records to account for all of your stock. Yes, as I have been telling you. Is there anything else in the back? We've been through the entire store twice already. If I knew what you wanted, I would gladly give it to you if it was mine to give. I want to treat you, slippery bastard. I'm telling you the truth. I could lose my job if I don't do the inventory correctly. Why would I lie to you about such a thing? The same reason you die for Allah. You're a brainwashed, glassy-eyed goon. You're just waiting for the right moment to slit the throats of your infidel enemy. Am I right, Hassan? Why do you keep calling me these names? My name is Ali. I'm sure Ali is one of the many names you use. Don't you get it, dude? We're on to you. You best keep your nose clean. I'm gonna hold on to these for our records. If you're telling the truth, you've got nothing to worry about. Oh, look at these. Ah, yes. You like those. It's so uh, you put them in the front of your car. You, you know, like the flags in front of the general's vehicle. They don't blow off in the wind? Oh, no. They fasten very securely. Please, take a couple. My compliments. No charge. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Now, you remember what I told you. Stay out of trouble. Absolutely. Thank you very much. See you next time. Crazy fucking white people!